Hi, my name is Joe Waters, and I write a blog called SelfishGiving.com, and I'm the author of Cause Marketing for Dummies. You know, I think what's really important with every cause in business that wants to do a cause marketing campaign is they really have to do an asset analysis of the things they have that would be valuable to a partner. For a company, that may be easy. It may be the product or service they sell. It may be a relationship they have with the vendor. Uh, it may be that they have a large workforce that they could tap for a volunteer project. Um, but a lot of times, nonprofits have to really look at the things that they have. Uh, it could be brand appeal, it could be employees, uh, you know, large workforces like what you find in hospitals, uh, big events that they could tap, and also just a great brand and mission that resonates with people. Cause marketing is a really important part of the marketing mix, and it's something that's, going, that's here to stay, because while all the other things that we do in marketing are associated with visibility for a company, Cause marketing enhances their favorability with the consumer. It gives them a competitive edge that goes beyond product and price. And that's what every company is looking for. One of the most important things that they want to do is they want to find the right fit with the right cause. If you're a business looking at it and you want to pick the right mission with the right nonprofit and have a connection. Another big thing that marketers really want to focus on when they're choosing their nonprofit partner is to identify loyalists within the nonprofit that would be interested in their product or service because we're doing this program so we can attract customers to our stores. So it's really important that you find a nonprofit that has a loyal base that will actually do that and come out. I work for small nonprofits. A lot of people think of cause marketing as only for big nonprofits and for big businesses, but it really works for anyone. Um, the challenge is, is that you have to be realistic about how you approach it. And what I look at for a great case study is, uh, you know, there's a great organization that I talk about in my book called the Ellie Fund. And it's a small organization. It's only uh, about, raises about $300,000 a year, but they do a great job with cause marketing. And this year alone, they'll tie in 40 different companies that will do purchase triggered or point of sale programs, which I explain in my book and raise at least forty or fifty thousand dollars if not more from the program. The, the typical reader is a small business or a nonprofit that is interested in partnerships uh, together and uh, you know one of the really important things is it's not just the big causes and companies so there's a great opportunity for small and medium-sized businesses and that's really who the book is focused on. People who are ready to take their fundraising to the next level with cause marketing. One of, the, one of the great things about the book is that in addition to focusing on traditional cause marketing tactics like point of sale and purchase triggered programs, we also talk a lot about how those can be used with social media and how it can be combined with new media, which is really important for nonprofits because not only does that help you raise more money, it helps build relationships uh, with companies and nonprofits and you're more successful with your programs.